Hi, I'm Amy Long with Red Carpet Report in Beverly Hills at a special screening and panel for Showtime's The Affair. Perfect. Um, I'm Amy with Red Carpet Report. Great. So actually, I was been digging into this script. How? What was you? What made you start writing a script like this? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I've been. I've always been really interested in. Um, in the difference between the, it sounds, it's going to sound very philosophical, but I've always been really interested in the difference between um, a female narrative and a male narrative, um, and how uh, men and women experience the world differently. Um, uh, I, I think it's sort of an underexplored, uh, I don't know, area of literature, of life, and stuff. I, I think that we um, that we are sort of living different narratives. We have sort of different life cycles, and anyway, it's just always kind of been the theme of my work. So I. The idea of telling a story from two perspectives was really exciting to me, and especially telling a story from a, a man's perspective and a woman's perspective was really exciting. And then, um, I guess we were just trying to figure out a way to tell a story about a relationship um, that changed and went through these different stages. Because I think something that I find really interesting is that in every love affair, there's like six or seven or eight or a million different phases, and totally different. And, the, and we use the word love to mean many different things. We use it to mean a crush on somebody. We use it to mean a romantic love. We use it to mean a long-term love affair. We use it to mean a tragic love affair. And so, for me, the idea that you could use, you could tell the story of one relationship, but as it evolves and change as the characters evolved and changed and had to keep figuring out what their relationship was to each other. It was just, it was a challenge, you know, as a writer and it was right in my sweet spot. Um, so I guess that's how it happened. It's, it's fascinating. The fact that you chose a love affair too, to explore both sides of the, of the spectrum. Do you think that a project like this would have been able to have unfolded on television Five years ago, ten years ago, because it is—it's pretty much pushing the boundaries. It's totally pushing the boundaries. Yeah, I mean that is that is the interesting thing. And in terms of why it was an affair, not just like a romantic relationship, we thought that you know if we're going to tell a story from two perspectives, an affair is 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 the way to do it because in an affair, you as one lover are really not privy to you're not privy to what's going on in your in your lover's head, but you're not even privy to what's going on in their life. So in terms of like being sort of alienated from your love, that was that was the way to do it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I do think that, interestingly enough, extramarital affairs are still quite a taboo in our culture. And I am not saying that that's a bad thing. In a lot of ways, I think it's a good thing. And it keeps us faithful to our spouses. And it keeps our relationships pure, hopefully. Um, but I personally know a lot of people who are having extramarital affairs. And nobody talks about it. Um, so in terms of you know finding a show that, that was going to be about a subject, you know, you're always kind of trying to find a show that's a little bit in a zeitgeist. And you're always trying to find a subject that is universal universal but kind of untapped. Um, so this felt like a real sweet spot for, for that reason, you know, it felt like a subject that everybody was having an experience with either directly or peripherally but that we hadn't really explored um, in television in a um, kind of an acute way. You know, it's always like the affairs in television are always sort of like B storylines or C storylines but nobody had ever focused literally on the affair itself. And anything that we should be looking forward to for season two? Congratulations on picking up another one and on the Golden Globe, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, what I'm really looking forward to in season two is the fact that we're now going to split the perspectives into four. And so we're going to get into Cole's perspective and we're going to get to Helen's perspective. Um, and that's, it's really exciting. I mean, we've already, we've written them. We're going to start shooting them in a couple of weeks. And it's just, it opens up the show. It gives a freshness to it. I think you're craving at this point to know what's actually happening in Cole's head and Helen's head. Um, so we really get in there. We give our, we give more and we give Josh a chance to sort of really shine as, um, as the narrators of their own stories. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be really great. And we're excited for that, too. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're excited to watch. Thank it's so a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me, whose side are you on?